Hello everybody. Welcome to Measuring Square Footage with ANSI 2021. Today we're really going to talk about the basics of the ANSI measurement standard. We're going to talk about what ANSI is and what it isn't. But what it is, is the new 2021 update. And there weren't a lot of changes in this update, but there are seven changes and you need to know what those changes are. And you know, we have a lot of people that quote ANSI and like talking about GLA. Well, GLA is not mentioned in the ANSI standard. So we're gonna clear up a lot of misconceptions about ANSI. And starting next year, we think coming in February, guys, ANSI is going to become mandatory in all interior inspection Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac reports. That's a big change and it's a step in the right direction. You know, I still think it's something hopefully that we can get realtors and assessors and uh, architects all on the same page. But after 25 years of being out, we're finally going to get ANSI mandated, not in one state, but in all states, guys. So this is a good step in the right direction. And ANSI is a tool, just like every other tool. You know, for liability, measuring square footage is still the number one complaint for appraisers. So it just makes sense for you, you know, your best protection against liability issues are to know what the ANSI standard is and know the rules. We're also, we're gonna talk about disclosures. If you go through a thousand residential reports, you're gonna see that most of those disclosures are one or two lines. You know, house measured according to the ANSI standard or house measured based on the ANSI guideline. And if you actually read the ANSI standard, you'll know that that is not an acceptable disclosure. So these are things, you know, that you need to know, especially when this becomes a requirement. So anyway, we hope we're going to give you a lot of good information today. We're glad you're here. Thank you for joining us and let's get started. 